Welcome. Tech Tuesday, diving into blockchain explorers today. So it came up pretty frequently. We did a piglet drop with our Bitcoin TAF stuff. So pre-sale, everyone got access to a pre-sale uh, NFT project. That's pretty cool. Um, but then just being able to take your transaction hash and paste that in as well as we got into some other issues as uh, it's quite uh, versatile already as far as what you can do with the piglet. And then we'll see over the next month as it continues to evolve. Uh, <laughs> pretty exciting stuff, but it uh, gave me the idea of why not take people through the blockchain explorer. I mean, lots of times we're talking about verifying our Bitcoin transaction or seeing where it's at. And I don't know if we've ever actually dove into the blockchain explorer. So no, no, I don't think so. And I, everyone remembers their first Bitcoin transaction and you're sitting and waiting and waiting and waiting, especially if it was, you know, a few years back. It's definitely picked up speed nowadays, but a few years back, I mean, you were waiting two, three hours. If you were sent a large amount, it was a little nerve wracking until you find out about blockchain scan and you can simply just watch your transaction go through the steps. So I've got CoinGecko opened up here. So every blockchain is going to have its own scan. So I like using CoinGecko to make sure I get the right scan. So there's blockchain scan right here. Now, this is pretty basic, so we can take a transaction, an address, blocks, anything, and just narrow it down so we can open that up. I don't have one handy here, but the nice part is if we scroll down, we can see all of our latest blocks and then the biggest transactions. So I like kind of diving in on some of these and seeing what, who's moving what and how much and kind of that. So I'm going to click on this guy. So this is a Bitcoin transaction hash right here. And then we've got the amount transacted. So we got some significant movement here just in this one block. So a block is going to be a block of multiple transactions. It's not just your transaction, right? So every 10 minutes, I believe, with Bitcoin, Corey? Roughly. Yeah. It aims Roughly. to keep it to every 10 minutes. Right. So this will kind of break down. We This one has been confirmed. So 17 uh confirmations from different devices running the network and then our block id so we can even click on our block id and dive a little bit deeper get some more information here so you get the date that this was mined and the time the transaction count the transaction witness counts inputs every bit of information you want and if we scroll down we can see all the transactions that were included in that block and and then you can start drilling in on each transaction. So what wallet to where, uh, which other wallet, the amount, and then total dollar value of Bitcoin within that transaction at current market price. So pretty cool. Lots and lots of information to digest and go through. But plays a big part in strategy when you're seeing large amounts of Bitcoin being moved. There's a couple different reasons. Getting it off exchanges for long-term hold getting it onto exchanges to start taking profits, moving from wallet to wallet, things like that, or simply just payments, right? Anything else in here, Corey, you want to touch on? Uh, if you don't mind just diving right into one of those transactions. So yeah. it's pretty rare people dive into the block itself, but for those that haven't looked at their transaction before, you know, this is what it's going to look like, right? So you've got your transaction hash. So this is like your receipt. So if anybody ever asks, hey, do you have proof of that Bitcoin purchase? And you need to send it off, whatever, you know, please and the wife, you name it. Whatever reason that you're doing it, you can come in, grab this transaction hash and send it to them. They can look it up, verify publicly that this is the transaction. This is what was paid for in the amount of BTC, right? Um and all the details too. So a fee, right? So if you're writing off your fees, for instance, off of your purchases, then that's something, you know, for your business. Uh, if you're not writing off your fees, then you definitely need to be writing off your fees because that's just business 101. I mean, if you're paying taxes, you don't want to, you know, be taking those fees out of pocket, right? So just one example of what blockchain um verifications can be used for right but typically you know for us i'm verifying that i paid for an nft or a private sale you know getting into an early ido 
and they just want proof. It's how they look it up, verify, no questions asked, no, you know, proof of ID. You don't have to verify anything. You just literally, this is my wallet. This is where I paid. And if you need proof, here's proof, right? So no questions asked. That's the biggest thing that I love about this. But uh, it gets much more in depth with uh, on-chain analysis. So diving into DeFi, we're getting into much more advanced versions of this as well. So um, that's where for the Ether scan, uh, the Ether Ethereum version of Blockchain Explorer, uh, you can dive in to see the contract address and everything that you're engaging with too. So. Um, that's where things get much more advanced. We do cover that, of course, in our Mastering DeFi course, uh, which I do recommend taking a look at. We do have a, a bundle deal on right now until the 1st of December. So um, take a look. The price is going up after that, and uh, the bundle will be on pause, at least for a little while. So. Um, as far as the overview, we can get into some much uh, more specifics. You know, you can see the from address and the to, as well as if there's any contract that they're engaging with. You know, if they're using DeFi, it's going to say pancake swap or whatever, right? So that actually became super useful as we bought the piglets. Uh, I was loading, you know, one of the ways to get a boost for your payout is to load seven different types of cryptos into it. I didn't realize afterwards it was not unlocked until level three. Justin, I, <laughs> of course, read the fine print before you get jumping into stuff. Uh, it'll unlock later on, but it's going to take a few months. Um, <clears throat> but basically, I'm loading this thing up to get a boost, and some of it didn't work. So I was actually able to go in and see the transaction confirmed, but there was an error with the contract gas. So they weren't able to initiate with those coins is my thoughts. So I was able to bring it up with the team and get it resolved. But that's where, you know, we're able to communicate through a decentralized fashion without without having to realize or having to you know communicate through Telegram or something like that. So um, super cool stuff. Definitely diving in deeper. Um, we've got thousand X gem founder coming on with us as well, diving into some of these DeFi picks. And going to be really diving into Etherscan much more in depth. So um, the big focus is Binance Chain and Etherscan with these guys, but uh, some pretty crazy stuff. Um, I saw one of his picks did six, seven hundred percent in just a few days. So you know, get in early, and be able to ride that thing up. It's a different kind of trading, different kind of investing for sure. Uh, much more due diligence, much more in-depth stuff, but that's where we've got tools to make life easier as well, of course. So much more to come. Uh, that's all I got for today, Justin. What about you? Any closing words? Blockchain, on-chain on analysis is just, it's a whole new level. You know, I, I feel pretty comfortable with my time in crypto, good foundation. I've been able to do it full time for over a year now. Starting to dive into on-chain analysis is just, it's just a beast. There's just so much there. So really looking forward to uh, to really diving in and, and, and bringing this, uh, this content to the courses, because I think, like you said, it's a different type of trading. And these thousand X type gems, you know, even 600 X times gems, you only need one or two of those a year, depending on your initial investment and you're laughing, right? So really looking forward to it. Um, Looking forward to hearing from anybody as well. Drop us a comment. Anything that you guys are looking forward to or look diving into, want us want want a little bit more in depth review on or check out. Love to hear it. Let's grow this community, grow our education, and get that adoption out there. Couldn't have said it better myself. Love it. All right. Well, see you same time, same place next week for the next Tech Tuesday review. See ya. <laughs>